Hello, welcome to day 12 of our fitness challenge with me and my good friend Christy. Thank you for practicing with us. We're giving you high fives. And let's get onto our mats, separating our feet hip distance apart. We're going to hang forward and hang down as we start our practice off. Shake out your head, your neck, and your shoulders. We are so happy you are bringing yoga into your life, making your life better and feeling good inside and out. And from here, just take your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers back there and take them off your back for a few breaths. Release your hands down from there and let's roll up to standing as the music kicks in. Look up, take a big breath in, reach up. Fold back down to the floor from there. Let's do that one more time. Roll up to standing with us. Take a big breath in. Look up. Arch back. Fold back down to the floor from there. Good. And let's walk it back into down dog from there. And in down dog, just start to pedal your legs out. Bend one knee. Bend the other knee. Let your calves open up one at a time like this. So good. Keep your heels down evenly and let's shift forward into our first plank and lower down from there. Arch that back up as you're ready and back into down dog from there. And one more time, let's come forward into plank again, lower down, maybe from your knees. Inhale, arch up as much as you'd like and then back into down dog from there. And let's step or hop it up into chair pose from there. Sink as low as you want. Arch your back a little. Giving you another high five. I'm so happy we are all practicing together. It's a good time on our mats. Fold down, straighten your legs from there. Either walk or hop your way back into plank and lower down from there again into up dog and back into down dog after that nice and adding more here we go take that right leg up in the air let's come into warrior one bring that foot up turn your back foot down and warrior one to start warrior two from there Reverse warrior, reach that right arm back from there. Back into warrior two. Then bring that right hand down to the floor inside that right foot. Take that left arm straight up to the ceiling. Sink low in that right leg. Bring that left hand down to the floor. Step back into plank. We've got our first five push-ups. They're as low as you want. But after push-up number five, it's going to be up dog and down dog for us here. Great. And after down dog, let's take that other side. Take that left leg up in the air. And here we go, warrior one. Bring that left foot up on this side and warrior one to start. Turn that back foot down. Reach those arms up. First couple breaths here. And warrior two from there next. Good, reverse warrior, reach that arm back from there. Back into warrior two for us here. And bring your left hand down to the floor, take that right arm up as we twist right here.
recuperating that hand down to the floor. Let's step back into plank and lower down again from there. Good, into up dog. And back into down dog after that. And adding more. Take that right leg up in the air. Bring your knee to your nose. Let's hold it here. Take that leg back out. Let's come into warrior two this time. Bring that foot up and sweep your arms around in warrior two. Reverse warrior again. Reach that arm back. Back into warrior two. Let's head out to half moon as we get deeper into our balance. Everything balances on that right leg. Your right fingers might be on the floor, right hand on the block, whatever you want here. Bring that left hand down to the floor. Standing splits, just a couple more breaths. See if that left leg can maybe get a little bit higher. Beautiful. Let's step back into crescent pose. So step that foot back. Reach up, but that left heel stays lifted back there in crescent. And then crescent twist. Bring your hands together at your heart. Bring that left tricep on your right thigh as we twist right here. Release your hands down to the floor. Good. Step back into plank. We're lowering down again. Into up dog. And back into down dog after that. Good. That other side for us. Take that left leg up in the air. First bring your knee to your nose and hold it here. Reach that leg back out. And warrior two for us. Bring that foot up. Sweep your arms around warrior two here. We're looking great. Take reverse warrior now. Reach that left arm back. Back into warrior two. And a half moon. Bring everything to balance out on that left leg here in half moon like this. You might use a block. About 20 seconds balance as best you can, everyone. Bring that right hand down to the floor. We've got standing splits for a few more breaths, so maybe get that back leg a little bit higher in the air. Stepping it back into crescent. Step that right foot way back. Reach back up in crescent here. Good. Now that we've got our balance, bring your hands together at your heart. Bring that right tricep on your left knee as all of us twist left like this. Sending you lots of love and joy and happiness. I know Christy is too. Release your hands down to the floor. Good. Step it back into plank and lower down again. Up dog. So good. And back into down dog from there. Getting into our heart rate more. Bring it back into plank. 20 seconds of mountain climbers. Right knee, left elbow. Then back down. Left knee, right elbow back down. Keep going like that. Any pace you want. Keep your feet back into plank with us. Staying with that core strength longer. One arm balance on our right arm. Roll to the outside of your right foot. Reach that left arm up to the ceiling. If it gets tough, just drop that right knee down anytime.
Bring that hand down to the floor. Now one arm balance on the other side. Take that right arm up here. Bring that hand down to the floor. Now let's just lift it back up into down dog. So good. That was tough. Take that right leg up in the air. Bring your right knee to your right elbow. Take it back out. Let's come into crescent pose from there. Bring that right foot up. Lift up in crescent. Let's head out to warrior three. Bring everything to balance out on that right leg here. Bring your left fingers to the floor or hand on a block. That right arm rises up, twisting half moon. I like to reach back and grab my foot with that right hand or that arm straight up, whatever you like. About 15 seconds, twisting half moon. It's a hard pose for us here. Bring that hand down to the floor. Let's step our way back into crescent pose from there again. Run here. Bring your left hand down to the floor. Take that right arm up to the ceiling. Now your choice, either stay focused on a twist or slide that right leg back to one arm balance. So both are great, whichever you want to take. I'm running out of patience. I'm about to make my move right now. I'm about to make my move right now. I'm tired of Bring that hand down to the floor. Step back into plank if you need to. Lower down from plank. Into up dog. Nice. And back into down dog. Good work on that side. Take that left leg up in the air. First, left knee, left elbow. Hold that as close as you can. Take that leg back out. Come into crescent pose. Bring that foot up in crescent to start. Good. Let's head out to warrior three from there. Bring your right fingers to the floor or block. Left arm rises up or grab that foot behind you. Either one, whichever you like. Bring that hand back down to the floor and let's step back into crescent pose from there. That right foot steps way back. Reach back up in crescent with us. Okay, one more thing. Right hand to the floor. Left arm rises up. Either stay here or slide that left foot back to one arm balance. Your choice here. Bring that hand down. If your foot's up, step it back into plank and lower down again from there. Into up dog and back into down dog. Just got a couple more hard minutes left to go, so stay with it a little longer. Take that right leg up in the air with us. Bring your right knee toward your left elbow. Take that leg back out. Let's come into warrior one again. Bring that right foot up in warrior one. Opening it up into warrior two from there. Bring that right hand down to the floor. Take that left arm behind your back. Either stay here or you can wrap that right hand under Clasping your fingers back there, about 20 seconds. Stay here or take any kind of variation you want.
Release your hands down to the floor. That side's done. Step your way back into plank and lower down from there. Into up dog and back into down dog. Final side now. Take that left leg up in the air. First, bring that knee to your right elbow. Take that leg back out. Last warrior one here. Giving you another high five and then we're heading into warrior two. So good. Now bring that left hand down to the floor. Take that right arm behind your back. Stay here or wrap that left hand under. Go wherever you want from there. And release your hands down to the floor. Lower down one more time. Into up dog. We made it. And let's just go to child's pose. Sit back on your heels from there. Giving you a big high five. Giving Christy a big high five. We are really proud of you. And just take about 20 seconds here. Wipe off. Take a drink. Just take some deep breaths after all that work. From here, let's bring our bodies up and make our way to our backs. Just hug your legs in once you've made it to your back. It's the fitness challenge, so we're going to stay with the strength a little longer. Reach your legs up to the ceiling. Bring your arms by your side. And let's lower our legs almost down to the floor. And then back up. Keep going. 30 seconds like this. Any pace you want. Hug your legs in from there. Good. Keep your legs there. Bring your hands by your ears or behind your head. Let's start to bicycle your body from right to left. Go at any pace you want like this. 30 more seconds. Keep going right here. That's it. Hug your legs in from there. Let's rock up to sitting from there. And let's extend both legs straight out in front of us. And let's take a forward bend. Our legs are together and out. Take your hands as far down your legs as you want. You can also use a strap perhaps or a towel around your feet. But take this forward bend about half a minute just like this. Such good work. I pushed it hard today. Thank you for getting through it. body up from here and let's come into butterfly pose bring the soles of your feet together let your knees go wide apart and just take a forward bend coming down with your torso in about 20 seconds here just relax into your hips into the groin and keep slowing your breath down now that you are in Bring 
your body up from here. Let's bring our knees together and let's roll onto our backs together. Hug your right leg into your body. Let that left leg reach out on the floor. Coming into a twist, your left hand takes that knee over to the left. Couple big breaths with us here. Bring that leg back up, good. Extend that right leg out, hug your left leg in. And here we go, our last twist. Take that knee over the other way here. Bring that leg back up, extend it out onto the floor. We made it to Shavasana. I'm giving you and Christy high fives. Find a position where you feel comfortable and relaxed and just close your eyes. And all together, take a big, big breath in. Hold your breath in here. Sigh your breath all out. And after working and moving and feeling incredibly strong with your body and your spirit, now just rest. Begin moving your fingers and toes once again now. Slide your heels gently back. And roll onto your right side. And let's press up to sitting. And once you are up, just close your eyes Bring your hands together right at your heart. As we've made it to this time at the end of our practice together, you should feel lightness inside of you that's shining out. You've changed your body physically and mentally and emotionally and spiritually. All those things have changed so that your spirit and your soul can shine through to an even greater degree than just 20 minutes ago. That's true for Christy, that's true for myself, and that's true for you. So thank you for spending 
this very soulful time on your yoga mat with us to fill yourself up with light and with goodness and joy and kindness. And now all of us get to take that out into the rest of our days. So thank you so very much for practicing with us from Christy and from myself. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with Christy and myself. Uh, she raced from Malibu and I had a full day and we were just saying that the 20 minutes like shifted us for the better. I know it did for me. Yeah, I feel better. My I walked in and I had a bit of a neck ache and now it's completely it's gone. It's gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I had I didn't do yoga yesterday. Probably shouldn't say that. But I didn't do yoga yesterday <laughs> and I was feeling stiff and it's all changed. And then we both said we could have gone for like an hour. Yeah, yeah. I feel great. Me too. So thank you for doing it. It was a hard one. I also said to Christy that this was maybe the longest in the strength that we've done in this 15 day challenge. So congratulations on that. Uh, I do get to ask Christy, um, why do you do yoga? Because I think it grounds me and centers me and it's a great way to start the day and get my head in the right mind space. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, we were saying, you were saying that you like doing it first thing in the morning or right before bed. Yep. Uh, I agree that morning practice uh, sets the day off in such a good trajectory. So whenever you do this, it's a positive thing for you. Thank you for practicing with us. I look forward to seeing you on the next challenge day or any of the videos and have a beautiful day from here on out. Namaste. Feeding me lies